I'm Detective Bailey with the uh, TSA division at the airport. Yeah. Yeah, we're like a joint FBI task force. And uh, well, the reason you're in here today is because uh, your bags got rung up uh, under the plane. I'm not sure how you made it past security, honestly. But, um, well, what's your story? Okay. Yeah. Well, first I want to comment you. you. You look amazing. You look like you financially are well off. So, kudos to you for whatever you're doing. I just uh, want to let you know that I don't want to be doing this any more than you want me to be doing this. And honestly, this is my last week for retirement. So I, I really don't care either. I'm just kind of going through the process at this point. Um, before we get started, though, I just I got to get some information from you. It's kind of protocol, uh, if you will. So, um, let's start with... Uh, uh, just kind of a verbal of your uh, first and last name, please. Okay. How do we spell that last name? Okay. What was that? Okay. <clears throat> and what about your uh, your country of origin? Where are you from? Yeah, we have it all on your passport, but I just wanted to, you know, verify with you that everything's accurate, what you're telling me. It's just, like I said, it's protocol. I huh? don't want to be doing this either, but we kind of have to. Yeah. Okay, so what was it? Perfect. Appreciate you being honest with me. Um, can I get your reason for traveling between countries? You know, whatever you want to tell me. I'm not in here to interrogate you. I'm just kind of questioning you. Uh, honestly, it's between me and you. And, uh, you know, I have the power to, you know, let you go. I have the authority. So uh, just be cool with me. Maybe we, you know, me, you and I can potentially work something out. Because I'm, I'm going to be retired pretty soon. Kind of need a side gig. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's been a long day at the airport. Do this a couple times a day, but you're definitely the highest uh, profile, seemingly the highest profile person I've had in here in the past couple of years. So thanks for some excitement. Okay. Fantastic. Um, hmm. You know, having done this so many times, I just kind of lose track of my questionnaire. Um, uh, what do you do for a living? <laughs> I feel like you're lying to me, but I'll write it down anyway. Yeah, go on. Okay. Yeah, keep going. Sure. Yeah, it makes complete sense. Really? Yeah. Okay. Then what? <laughs> awesome. That's exciting. Kind of jealous, to be honest with you. But, um... I have to go through your bag now that they pulled from the plane and uh, go over the items that we found with you to uh, question you on the items that we found, how you uh, procured these items, um, and uh, your intent with these items. Um, and like I said, I'm not sure how you got past uh, security with these particular items, so good for you. Uh, you know, we could definitely learn a thing or two uh, from someone like you, so... Uh, again, thank you. 
Yeah. yeah. Don't mention it. Okay, I might come back to this later. I have to tag some of your items, but let's just go ahead and get started on what we found. I'm gonna put some gloves on now. Because I'm not sure with all the, uh, the stuff going on uh, if you have any diseases or anything. So, just gonna put my gloves on here. Nose has been itching all day. Just allergies. Terrible. But, um, yeah, like I said, this is my last week here. So maybe you and I can join forces and I'll just let you off this, no problem. But definitely interested to learn more about you because you got some pretty hardcore items with you. Should have had this stuff shipped, it's a lot safer. But you're an outlaw, so I like it. I respect it. Okay, well, first off, I need to get your uh, written consent here to uh, go through this stuff. I'm just gonna have you sign here. Yeah, here you go. Wow, it's a great signature. Very cool. Also, I'm going to need to get some fingerprints from you. So if you could please uh, stick your finger. Hang on, let me moisten this up. We haven't used this in a while. Stuff stinks. Uh, get you to... Here. Left index finger in here, please. Thank you. And then put it on the paper. Thank you. Now we're gonna do your uh, right index finger. Thank you. Put it on the paper. Thank you. Jeez, my allergies are going crazy. And um, now I need you to get, <clears throat> excuse me, I need you to get both thumbs for me. And uh, again, just do the same thing on either side of the uh, index prints. Okay, here you go. Good, okay, now put it on the paper. Perfect. I appreciate that. Very painless uh, procedure there. And, just give me that thumb, we'll wipe that off, okay? There you go. Alright, give me the other one. Okay, got it. Both index fingers now. Perfect. Okay. Let's just go ahead and get going through the bag now. concerned about um, kind of tied it to the other objects that you had in this bag but they were concerned that uh, you might be a, a criminal uh, activity so they found this uh, this black ski mask with holes in it for like the eyes and the mouth right um, see um, can you tell me why uh, you had this mask? Yeah, I mean, it does, you know, whatever you say, I wanna, it's gonna be my truth, so, you're good. Gotcha. Okay. Makes sense, you're skiing in Colorado, and, yeah, you would need a, you would need a, a mask to keep your face, uh, from getting cold. Right. Well, that's completely valid, very valid point. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, that explains that. Um, I'll put this down. 
they're, they're gonna hold on to this stuff um, for, for a while until we get done with this, but I'll get it back to you when we're done. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it, you'll get it back. Um, also, um, they found uh, another object in, in your luggage that uh, they tied to the masks. Um, and, and, you know, uh, my boss was thinking that it might be criminal, but I don't know. You could probably explain it, but uh, I found this 99.9% .9 gold bar in your bag as well. It's really heavy. Yeah, I found quite a few of these, but this is just an example, of course. But you already knew that. Um... Uh, this thing's probably worth, I don't even know the value of gold, two, three, four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, maybe more. <laughs> Why are you flying publicly with this? And you just carry on check in luggage. Yeah. It makes you, it just makes you happy, you said. It makes you feel good to have this. Well, can't say I fault you there. That's, very valid point. Um, but you can see the concern that my bosses would have uh, with the mask and then you having things like this. Yeah, it's just kind of a bad, kind of a bad look. I mean, from the outside looking in, of course, I'm not being a hater. Um, you know, I wouldn't mind having a couple of these myself, so. Yeah. Okay, well. So you, you, they just make you happy and you, you you inherited them from your family members? Okay, gotcha. Any reason you're flying with them? Just, just like, they just make you really happy. Okay, all right. Well. Keep things near and dear to us that make us happy. That's not uh, a fault of yours, my friend. I'm guilty of the same, I guess, so. Good point, valid point. Uh, okay, well, thanks for explaining that. I'll put this over here. Let me go ahead and type down a, a couple of these uh, key points so that I've got them on file. I don't want to forget it. But. Okay, so the mask was for the ski trip, right? Got it. And then the uh, gold bar was for... Uh, it just it makes you happy, so you wanted to have it close to you because it makes you it makes you feel good. Okay. I don't I, like I said I don't fault you on good. That's a very valid point. H a p p y dot exclamation point v a l i d period. So happy valid and you're. Good, good to go there. All right, well, moving on. Um, I'm just going to take these last two items because there's a couple other things in here I don't think are very valuable, but are, you know, viable for this uh, uh, interview. But um, we also found, uh, like, I want to say 20, 25 of these uh, $10,000 stacks. Um, so you, I mean, you were carrying a lot of money, uh, valuable cargo on a public, uh, plane, on an air taxi. Is there any reason why you were just carrying, uh, pre-wrapped slates of $10,000, uh, increments in one hundreds? Yeah, you were going to a... Got gotcha. you. Okay. Well, you know, game exchange, uh, they don't, the prices aren't that high there. You, you would, one of these might buy out the store. You were planning to, you are planning to go to all the game exchanges. It was a, it's a hobby to buy the game exchange stuff. Okay. You just like other people's old electronics. Well, it's fine with me. Yeah, I also like, you know, your vintage Nintendos and DS, all that good stuff, so. Um, you know, I've heard of, definitely heard of more strange hobbies than buying out game exchange vintage electronics. 
Okay. Well, you and I have a lot in common, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, well, that makes complete sense. Um, and, and again, this is just one of those items they were tying to the, uh, the masks. And, uh, just thought it, it might be of criminal origin. Um, but it's, you know, it's their job. Uh, you know, I'm, I don't play the good cop, bad cop stuff here. I just, again, I, this is my last week and, uh, I don't really care either way. But I will say I'm impressed. This is a lot of money. I haven't, haven't personally ever held this much money at one time. So thank you again for, honestly, thank you for the opportunity to, you know, go through these items with you. So it's, it's been the highlight of my career to this point. So uh, it's usually really monotonous around here. So I can't thank you enough, truly. Yeah. Um, like I said, if you need any help with whatever it is you do for a living, I'm 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 there. This is my last week, uh, and I'm gonna need you know a backup plan. So, yeah. But anyways, uh, it makes sense that you would have this much money for the game exchange stuff. So I'll just go ahead and put this over here with the other stuff. And let me uh, type that down real quick. Okay. Has hundreds of thousands of dollars to buy used electronics at Game Exchange. Beautiful. Okay. Now, the next item is the one they were most concerned about. And I gotta say, on this one, I really don't fault them. Uh, you're supposed to check these things in, and, and again, I don't know how on earth you got this through the security uh, protocols here. But again, uh, I can't fault you. Uh, it's impressive, and uh, let's just get into it. They found this... Uh, uh, suppressed, uh, fully suppressed AR-15, um, includes like a flashlight, and a green laser, uh, and, hmm, uh, this one was difficult, uh, for sure, this one might be a little harder on you to kind of explain, so, um, I can't fault you one bit. I like to, you know, go to the shooting range as much as the next guy. It's a fun little hobby to, you know, shoot targets. But, um, I can't imagine why on earth you'd, you'd, uh, think that was a good idea to, you know, bring that onto a plane. And, uh, like I said, I'm not here to criminalize you, but I definitely want to get your side of the, uh, your side of the, of the story, your story on why that uh, that firearm was found uh, in your luggage on the plane. So, uh, can you tell me? Hmm. Okay. Gotcha. So, th so, yeah, that makes sense. Well, okay. So, for instance, sometimes um, seagulls will or just other high altitude birds will, will fly and sometimes hit, hit the, hit the engines, right? And it gets sucked into the turbine and those birds can, uh, uh, you know, if enough of them get, you know, strike, the, strike the engine can definitely take down an engine and that'd be terrible. So you're telling me that the point of the rifle was to try to prevent the birds from, uh, flying into the engine, you were just gonna, you were gonna take out the birds before they could get into the turbine. Okay. Yeah, so your, your, ultimately your goal is to help and like, uh, try to, you know, protect the people that are on the plane. Gotcha. 
Well, that's very selfless of you, honestly. So, again, you know, kudos. Uh, being an outstanding citizen. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, sheep in our population that just depend on, uh, sheep dogs, right? To, uh, kind of keep them safe. And, and, uh, so we gotta have people in our, in our communities that prevent bad, you know, the wolves, the bad people from letting anything bad happen to the, the sheep. So every now and then you'll get a sheep dog that, uh, kind of make sure all the sheep are okay, keeps everyone safe. So it's good to see that, uh, you know, there's still people like that in our uh, communities that are, you know, have best interest in, of everyone else, kind of first and foremost in their, in their minds, uh, serve and protect uh, the, uh, the people when they're not able to do it uh, themselves. Because some people just aren't uh, cut out for combat, let's just be honest. And the sad truth of where we're at and as humans is that there's always going to be conflict, which is unfortunate, but... So, uh, good for you, honestly. Let me, uh, let me type that down. And, uh, honestly, I mean, I think that's probably pretty much it. Let me, so, uh, rifle was, it is to protect the airplane from from seagulls and other species of high altitude birds. Valid. Okay. I think that's going to do it. Um, I Pretty sure that the rules of conduct, regulations, and whatnot on my end, um, if I feel that you're being truthful and, uh, you know, there's not any foul play here uh, to just kind of let you go and, and, and be on your way. Um, and I'm sorry that your flight was uh, missed because of this incident. Um, uh, we'll recoup you here at the airport for uh, wasted time. And uh, I know time's valuable, so I apologize on behalf of everyone here. Um, unacceptable on our uh, on our end. So again, I'm sorry. Uh, furthermore, I'm gonna write down my name. So it's gonna be Detective Bailey. And here's my phone number. Okay, and my email. right here and I just want you to take this with you if there's anything you ever need here you go yep from me uh, yeah just stick it in your pocket uh, whatever I mean, you know, whatever you want to do but uh, like I said if there's anything you need from me uh, please let me know um, it's been great to uh, chat with you and go through your items and again I gotta say this is the most excitement I've had here in a long time so uh, thank you. Um, but other than that, uh, got your uh, flight booked. I'm uh, heading out in the next uh, hour, I think, hour 30. Um, and we'll get you out of here. But please give me a call. Um, I'd love to talk to you again and maybe work with you in the future. Okay. All right. It's been great chatting with you. And I'll see you around. Okay. All right. Bye now.